be hearing so many things people say about locks, and I just be looking like. girl from around the way where we have culture conversation and community and in today's video we are going to be talking about five myths about locks so let's get right into it the first myth that i want to get into is something that i believed in okay and that is number one locks are low maintenance like who said that who said that who said that now this is not going to be a one-size-fits-all myth type of video because everybody's situation is different like I know some people are free form or semi free form and their hair care regimen is different than mine um I don't do like every day on the 14th I have to or every month on the 14th I have to get a retwist but I know some women who are like that because they like that neat look and they like to keep their locks you know from being too frizzy or being too this or being too that again it's going to it's going to depend on what type of a lock journey that you are actually on but in my experience my locks still require me to be hands-on with my hair <laughs> now it might even be a little bit more hands-on because my hair is still on the shorter end a sort of shorter spectrum of the starter lock journey so you know i need a little bit of mm, i need a little bit of jazz i need a little bit of hands you know what i'm saying up into these locks so it hasn't been a low maintenance in terms of what in terms of what i thought that oh i'm just gonna let my hair lock and it's just gonna be that no that's not true you still have to moisturize you still have to nurture you still have to baby and pamper your hair um it's just that your hair needs it requires it another thing too is like if you are the type of chick that is like trying to get your hair retwisted every time on the same exact time of the month like you know your hair your retwists are going to unravel especially if you have starter locks especially if you're going to the gym like it doesn't mean that you are going to have a low maintenance hairstyle. It's just like thinking, oh, I'm getting a shortcut. It's going to be low maintenance. Anybody can tell you right now if they have a shortcut, it's not low maintenance. Whether they got to go to the barbers, whether they got to get another perm, whether what, like, you know what I'm saying? So, no, I would not, I, I don't think that locks are low maintenance, at least not mine. The second thing that I want to get into is the myth of you can't get your hair wet like I talked about this in my moisturizing my 4c starter locks video which I will link up above but like everybody has a misconception that you can't wet locked hair especially I think it's people who are on the starter lock journey because it's like oh I don't want to mess up my coils I don't want to mess it up but here's the thing water your hair needs water period your hair needs water it's just that simple and that concept is so like early 90s girl like who told you that you can't get your hair wet like i don't even know why i thought i couldn't get my hair wet it's just crazy and not only that like watering your hair should be just a part of like your regular hygiene routine like we have to wet our hair we have to wash our hair um that's just a part of being hygienic um you know some people you know steam their locks when meaning like when they get into the shower they don't wrap their hair up and they let the moisture get into the hair i don't do that i did that a few times but like oh not for where i'm going okay but you know everybody has a different idea and perception about this but everybody it's it's commonly known in the lock community that you have to wet your hair water is your friend your hair is a living breathing organism of course it needs water another thing that i want to mention too clean locks a lot faster um something that you need to keep in mind if you do have starter locks girl clean your scalp use that water it's okay you don't have to just dampen your hair and shampoo get it wet lather it up it's totally fine myth number three lock it and forget it and what I mean by that is, um, it kind of ties into being low maintenance, but people think once your hair is locked, it is invincible and destructible. And here is the thing, again, your hair is a living, breathing organism. It still needs love, it still needs nurturing, and it still needs what you were doing. Maybe not as much when you were loose natural, but it still requires some things. I was just under the impression that, oh, you know, set it and forget it, lock it and forget it. And that's not how this thing is working, okay? And I think a lot of people think that, like, oh, once you lock your hair, you just forget about it. And I guess if you're, like, a, you know, free form or semi-free form, quiet as it's kept, people that are free form and semi-free form still take care of their hair, okay? They still have a routine and a regimen. It may not be as often as you, mine or yours, but people still take care of their hair. And 
you know, you still need to be mindful of tension. You still need to might be mindful of, you know, retwisting too tightly and it might snap and pop. Like your hair is still your hair. It's just in a different form. Okay. So if you had easy breakage when you were loose, you might not want to do a really, 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 really tight retwist. Okay. If you, um, you know, your hair was thin in certain areas, you still might want to go ahead with some good oil and hit that boo boo spot because just because your hair is locked doesn't mean you still won't have certain things that are going to happen to your hair, whether it's genetics, whether it's the winter. Okay. Like I require more lotion on my skin in the winter. Your, my hair is going to need more moisture. It's just simple things like that. Your hair is not indestructible. You know, you can't just lock it and forget it. It still requires you to care for it. Myth number four. Um, I love this one. Locks aren't feminine. Okay, so I was kind of feeling that way, low-key. Um, low-key, and I realized that now that I'm one year into my journey that I was feeling like, oh, but my hair is going to be like this. Oh, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to have the 24 you know, inch weave in my hair anymore? How can I, you know, spruce myself up or make myself feel like this? Here's the thing, ladies. Um, it's all about energy. Okay, you that's how you know, men have feminine energy, and they can get dressed as a woman and sashay like in here, like they don't have um, frank and beans. So it's really just about what you feel like internally, which will reflect on your outward physical body. And think about think about all of the ball cut women like Amber Rose and whoever else was sporting a ball cut. And it was looking like the baddest thing on the planet. So your hair is just an extension of yourself. So whether it's really short or really long, if you have feminine energy that will exude with everything or anything that you put into your hair, that is a gem. Y'all, that is a gem. I wish I knew day one of the journey because I went through like oh let me oh let me oh let me but like at the end of the day it's who you are it's like you're like I am not my hair is a real statement because I am going to be who I'm going to be if you're masculine with long hair you're going to be masculine with lock hair if you're masculine with short hair you're going to like it just doesn't make that much of a difference if you get what I'm saying and then you can still like dress them up which is something I've yet to do I haven't done any type of accessories anything into my hair except for like one or two cowrie shells which i'm gonna do some more i'm gonna add like a whole bunch of cowrie shells i want to try some lock sprinkles too um leave a comment down below let me know where i can get some black owned lock sprinkles because i'm not buying them just off amazon girl we about to support our own okay leave a comment down below make sure you give this video a thumbs up too myth number five okay so myth number five is your hair will grow all right, and everybody says that lock your hair, it's gonna grow like grass. Lock your hair, it's gonna grow like a wildfire. Lock your hair, lock your hair, lock your hair. Now here's the thing, keep in mind, I am on the start of journey. I am one year locked, okay? So my hair is just now starting to get some movement, hence why I can't stop moving my neck. And second thing too, like I'm still very new to this whole lock journey, lock community, okay, Millie Rock. But the point I'm trying to make is, everybody thinks you just lock your hair and it's gonna grow like the next day. And, and it's kind of a myth and it's kind of not. Here's the thing. In the beginning, your hair is going to shrink. People didn't tell me that. So I'm going to insert a picture of what my hair looks like before I locked it. And then like, y'all, when I tell you I thought my locks were going to be like equivalent to what my hair was loose. And eh, wrong answer. Come again. Try again. So I was under the impression like, um, you know, well, I thought my hair would be longer than this. And I still think my hair should be longer than this because I know if I was loose and I was taking the um the type of care I've been taking of my hair since I got locked I know my hair will be broken but then again not really because all of the manipulation all of the combing all of the brushing all of the flat ironing all of the this all of the that and that's how we get our breakage so I think that like once you get past a certain point hair will grow like wildfire but what people really need to say is you are keeping your length retention okay so if you have box braids you had this much new growth and then you comb out all of the, the build out you have a ball of hair that was you know shedding you don't have that when you have locks so you get a lot of length retention your hair is going to grow at the same rate it's going to do the same things everything is going to be the same as when you were loose the only thing is you're not combing and brushing you don't have that you know that tug of war that you do and trying to have length retention so that is where you people get their length from. It's not that your hair is growing like wildfire. It's just that we have better length retention. 
message. So those are my quick five myths that I wanted to come and debunk and talk about because I know some of us are just starting our journey. We're midway. We're day two, day ten. And you know, I wanted I want y'all to drop down into the comments and let me know some of the myths that you heard that was just like girl wrong or some of the myths that you actually believe because for real for real y'all I was afraid to water my hair and I didn't water my hair for a, like I I washed it once a month. Don't get me wrong because I'm not a nasty. But spritzing it with water wasn't happening, okay? Maybe some rose water with a long handle, like, real quick. But, like, some of the things, some of the myths people still believe. And I want to know what y'all think about them in the comment section below. And I'll be dropping down in the comments as well, lurking, because I'm a lurker. And we're just going to keep the conversation going, okay? Make sure you join the private Facebook group, which I will link down in the description. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.